Hey, this is Crazy for Guys 19 back with another video. Today's tutorial will be over the isosceles bracelet, which was designed by Looming Loom. And there was a tutorial um, for how to make this on two looms on Jillian Create's channel, but she deleted her tutorial, so I checked with her and also with Looming Loom, and they both said that I could create a tutorial. And I figured out how to make it on one loom, so this is a one loom tutorial. And here's another example. So this is the isosceles bracelet, and the camera's not focusing as usual. Um, and I, I will have the band count in the description box, so I'm not going to be going through that right now. But anyway, let's get started. So for the border, I'm going to be using orange, orange zest. Um, which is a rounded band, and I know I used rounded bands in both of my examples right here, but this does work with bands that are not rounded. I have actually made this bracelet with opaque or jelly for the border, and it works just fine. So, I'm going to place a band out to the left, and then a band out to the right. And then what makes it a bit different is you're just going to place one band on each pin on the left and the right. Like that. And so next you want to place bands just up the left side. Uh, a disclaimer, this orange looks a bit different off camera. I mean, that shouldn't affect how it's made, obviously, um, but it'll look a bit different on camera than off camera. And you are going to stop at this second to last pin and then place your band into the center. And then what makes this part a bit different is you're going to place a single band right there. So now go back to the bottom of the loom, and this time, place bands up the right side of the loom. So you're just going to be doing that same process, this time on the right. So place bands all the way up the right side, then place the one band into the center and then place one band right on top. Like that. My hand was in the way right there. Anyway. So it should look like this at the top. The next band that you place will be like the white in this bracelet. I also used white in this one, and I will be using white again today. So starting on the right side, you're going to place your white, or your color, right on top of this border, from the bottom center to the right side, so like that. I know the camera is sideways. That's the best way that I can orient it for you to so you're going to be placing bands diagonally like that all the way up the loom. So right up here, this is your last band. You don't place one these last two. So now back at the bottom of the loom, this time, you're not going to be doing the same thing on the other side, because you have to place bands on top of this afterwards. And since it's a two loom design, I had to adapt the configuration. So you're actually just going to be placing the band on top of the pin on the left. And you're going to be doing that for all of the pins on the left. 
It does help if you push down the bands, which I have not done, so I will be doing that now. I thought I'd counted out all my bands. And so now back, bottom of the loom. It's now time to place the middle. So the electric glow blue or the sweets blue paradise blue. Today I will be using teal. So the way you do this, I'm going to turn the loom so it's easier for you to see. The way you do this is you start on the very bottom pin and you're going to do a long stretch all the way up to the second pin on the left. Like that. And now you're going to be doing a normal stretch from this first on the left to cross over to the second in the center. Like this. Now you're going to place another long stretch band from this pin in the center up to the next available pin on the left. What I meant by available is that not this one, which already had the teal on it, but this one, which didn't have a teal on it. If that didn't make sense, just ignore that and just follow what I'm doing. And then your short stretch will be from the left into the center. Now from where you left off, right here, place your long stretch band up here. And this one would be the fourth on the left at this point. And then a short stretch and the third on the left at the center. So you are probably picking up on the pattern by now and So for this part, just what you have to be careful of is that you always place the long stretch band first and then you place the normal stretched band on top of that. So I will do this until the end of the loom. I know my hand is in the way of the camera like that. Um, that's because the camera is right above my hand. I know I've had this configuration, this uh, camera set up in other videos, so I've mentioned that before. Um, I'm sorry about that. I'll get my hand out of the way in just a second. I'm almost at the top of the loom. Okay, so once once you reach the top, you actually are going to place a band all the way up to this top pin on the left, like that, and then your short stretch band, like that. So it is going to extend past the border, and that's okay, it's supposed to do that. And then, the last band you place is a cap band, which I made on my hook. I'm going to place that between the top center in the top left so that it's over both of these pins all of those bands. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing the looping process. So first I'm just going to turn this around and I wouldn't say that the looping process is very difficult but there are some things that are unique about it so I would just pay attention and make sure that you know what you're doing. 
So, first you can see that this normal stretched band is on top, which means I'm going to loop it first. So I'm going to put the hook in the cap band, pick up that band, and loop it back upon itself. Like that. And then I'm going to loop the long, the longer stretched band, and loop it back upon itself as well. So now I'm going to pick up this band, it's the normal stretch band, and loop it to the right. And then go back one pin, which is where this longer stretch band starts, and loop it back upon itself. And it's as simple as that, you're just going to be repeating that process. You do have to just make sure that you're looping the shorter stretch band first because it is easy to get mixed up and loop the longer stretch band first, which is not what you're supposed to do. So you have to make sure that you loop the normal stretch band to the right at step one, and then go back and you loop the longer stretch band all the way up to the left and that's step two. So I'm going to do that all the way up the loom. There's nothing real fancy about this procedure. Alright, so now that I've finished that, the next step is to loop the middle bands, which are the white bands for me. You can start with either side. I'm going to start with the left side because it's the easier side. And it's simple, you just have to reach into these bands that are already looped and loop the middle bands, or white bands in my case, out to the side, back upon themselves. And then you don't have to do anything with these teal bands. You don't have to move those, you can just leave them where they are. And you do that with this last band right here as well. So now back at the bottom of the loom, it's a bit different for the right side. So if you look at this teal band, the center structure, you can sort of see that there are two parts to each of these. There's the left side, like that, and the right side there and you can see that the left side goes over the center pin and the right side of the setup goes over the pin on the right. So what you want to do is put your hook into the right side only. You don't want to do something like that. You just want to put your hook into the right side. 
And then you want to pick up one end of this band that was dropped here. And it's a lot easier if with your other hand... I'm going to try to get my hand out of the way. With your other hand, you hold one end of this band that you dropped here. So then with your hook, you put your hook into the right side of this center teal setup. You pick up the other end like that, and lift it up, then put both ends of that loose band on your hook, like that. Now what you have to do is actually pop this right side off, like that, and take this loose band that's now on your hook, and place it around that pin on the right. Effectively what this does is make the right side look like the left, when you take the bracelet off the loom. So you can't have the right side trapped once you put the loose white band back on. So you always have to make sure to remove the teal after you looped over the white. So I'm going to... It's a bit difficult to show because I don't want my hand to be in the way. But I'm going to hold this loose band with one hand, with the other hand, use the hook to pick up the other end of this loose band, put both ends on the hook, and then pop this right side off the loom, and place both sides of that band on the hook onto the pin. And I will explain that one more time, and then I'll show it all the way up the loom. So you're, you're going to put your hook into the right side of the looped bands. Hold one side of the loose band that you dropped there. With your hook, pick up the other end. And loop it off the pin so that it's still on the hook. And put the hook through the part that you're holding. Pop the center band, which is teal, off the hook and place this loose band, which is white, onto that pin. So you will be doing the same process with the loom. I'm going to hold it from this side just so that my hand's not in the way anymore. The reason I'm holding this band with my left hand is because it gives the band tension so that you can pick it up and it so that you can pick it up with the hook. See if I didn't do that, it would be a lot harder to pick up both ends of the band. Possible, as you just saw, but a lot harder. Okay, I'm going to stop right here and clear some space off of my phone and I'll be back. So I'm just going to finish this up 
on camera and then I will show how to do the next step. So you will notice that when you move this last band off of the loom, this one, you'll notice that now only the left side is on a pin. Well, that's the way it is for the other ones, but for this one you want to grab that last band and loop it like that. So what I did right there so I just picked up both sides of this band and I moved them onto the center pin. So back at the bottom of the loom it's time to start looping the border. For the most part it's a normal border but at the beginning and at the end it's a bit different. So you want to put your hook through the cap band. My cap band is still stretched out. You want to locate this top band, which is a loose band. And just like you did with the other loose bands, you want to hold one end with your free hand. And with your hook, pick up the other end. And put both ends onto your hook, like that. And now you want to pop the cap band off of the pin. Like that. So now as you can see the cap band is no longer on the center pin. So instead you put this band on your hook onto the pin like that. It's these top two layers. You're going to push back both those top two layers and pick up the one directly underneath that. loop it back upon itself to the left, like that. Now you want to pick up the top two layers, which is that top band on the center pin, pick up these two, and remove it from the loom. Remove it from the pin, like that. So now you can put the cap band back onto the center pin. It actually makes it easier if you move it off like that, which I forgot to mention. So now, you can hold one end of this loose band, and with your hook, go in through the cap band, and pick up the other end of the loose band. Now pull this one end through the cap band, Grab the other end. Um, you don't have to grab the other end this time. And you can just loop it back on itself. You didn't have to grab the other end this time because the other end's already on the bottom center pin. And you want to push back those top two layers, pick up the very bottom band, and loop it to the right. I'm just going to put the cap band back here, which you don't have to do. I just think that it adds stability while making the rest of the bracelet. So now I'm going to just loop up the left side as I would a normal bracelet.
So at the very end, this is also where the process is slightly different than a normal board. So you have this loose band up here as well. So I'm just going to hold that with my left hand, and then grab the other end with my right hook with the right hand. Um, and then put both ends on the hook like that. And pop everything right there off the pin and place this band on the hook back like that. So now I can just grab this last border band and loop it into the center. And then the same thing on the right side. So you're going to loop most of the right side as you would any other bracelet. And then you have to do the, the loose band technique at the very end. So once you've reached this point, you're going to do it the same way you did on the other side. You're going to hold this loose band. Put both ends of that loose band on your hook. Pop the other bands off of the pin. Place the band on your hook onto that pin or peg or whatever you want to call it and then loop the last border band into the center I'm just going to tie off another border band I'm just going to add a real quick extension normally I would do the extension in the border color actually I think I will do that I will be back Alright, so I added the extension and just clipped the end. So here, here's the finished isosceles bracelet. And as usual, if you have any suggestions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section. And I'm sorry for the long tutorial, but thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I was really excited to make it. Also, go check out more of Looming Looms. Uh, bracelets if you can. So thank you so much for watching this. I'm so glad I was able to make the tutorial. Bye!